Hello, hello, half a day, and welcome. I'm sorry. <laughs> I might honestly just change the time to 10.30. Things keep happening, but it's all right. Rue, the doge I brush, is doing well. I might need to buy him, like, a different ointment for his brushing, but the dog has been brushed. The other doge is here. I have returned from filming, and I am back for some more. Anachronox. Anachronox. Mm. Anachronix? Anachronix. I'm... Um, let's, let's go. Let's just get into it. Oh, Alright. <laughs> Last where we left off. <laughs> Our wonderful teammate, the planet, decided to just activate their executive order and become a planet again. So I, Sly Boots, am now on said planet. I'm actually on the planet. When we met them first, we were on their ring. So. Loads of people to talk to again. Oh, hello. Play games in the snow. A madman looks white and dumb? White and dumb. White and dumb. How times have I unwittingly brushed by him searching for his next victim? How many times have I shared a beer or worked alongside the killer? If you like this, the first chapter of my novel about the recent disappearance is the town. The story follows a stranger with a dark past who wanders into Wittenden and uses the people for his own ends. <laughs> well, that's just the plot. It's really about the social stratification between the surface dwellers and the green dwellers. You want really to tell me to be careful. I ran over there to save. Oh, child? His name is Squirrel! I'm so hungry, I'm gonna peel my face off and eat it. Oh my god. Hello. Disease? Maybe everyone up there was wiped out by plague. Even their signs could find no cure. Hello. It's so cold, my snot's frozen. Oh. Alright. I gotta look around and chat. Oh, hello. A lot of you. Sir? Sir? Sir, please, let me communicate with you. I love you! Nope. Not for him. Okay, that's cool. Where did I end up? Oh, I'm a lady? I say that ring dweller, the Burgomaster. Burgomaster is hiding in his manner and knows something about the disappearances. Ma'am? Here, we should have gone with Phillips and Charles to Greenfield where we have a chance. Valentine sweetness, it's called. Wait, Valentine or Valentine? No, I won't use their names. These are our cities, we can name them whatever we want. Greenfield isn't Valentine any more than this place is Politicus. That's awkward. Wait, so the people on the ring? Are they invading? Aren't you glad you stopped to talk to me? Oh my god, Joey. Wait, did I already talk to Joey? This is not frozen guy. Hello, sir. I'll talk to you, right? Hey, Peter. Is that a new coat? Looks pretty beat up. In fact, your face looks pretty bad, too. You can do a scrap with Lori's brother. I hear he's been gunning for you. Oh, who think I'm somebody else? Alright, so we did that direction. And then over here. Go this way. I can't remember what I was doing. I know I came over here for a reason. Sir? Civil war, perhaps, except no one has seen explosions or anything resembling violence around here. Oh, they're questioning the people on the brain. Okay. Bet you're wanting some when I roast and it's smothered with garlic and onions tonight. I'll probably be wanting a fur cap I'll make from it too. Coney? That's a coney. So it's all over between you and the girly, huh? Nice going, Pete. Okay, I'm like a brand new face here. Y'all seem to have trouble recognizing who's who. What is this? Mm 
previously known as your current extended warranty is going to expire. No, it's not. Because <laughs> I don't have a car. Hey, Sal, are you listening to Doodles over here? He's under some delusion that the ring dwellers are giving us a vacation. They have an entire labor force at their disposal. Why would they stop sending us work unless they think we've earned a break? Welcome to the Fairweather Inn. I hear your ship is sinking with glory. It's too bad, mate. You made a good couple. Why does no one... What? I'm concerned. Y'all think I'm somebody, but I'm not. I'm like a brand new person here. What is going on? Who is this person that is dating Lori? Can I go in these doors? Okay. I'm concerned about the townsfolk. They all seem a little delusional. Oh! Let's get in there. Spooky Manor. This is just an inn full of people who think I'm somebody else. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Goodbye, Crab Town, you beautiful majestic dog. Not that we're in the same neighborhood, it's kind of nice because it's. Don't fudge out in here. What kind of pop prints are those? Surface armies decide they want to take over the world now that the ring dwellers are out to lunch. Please, sir, don't take our flimsy houses. No, not the snow. Please don't take all our snow. Alright then. Chat with you. You were lost. children inside. You should go in there and comfort them. Seems awkward. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll go. Hi! He was such a creative boy, always telling stories about this or that. He was a little monster too, but what child isn't from time to time? He was our son. We were playing with his toy workers by the fireplace here when we heard the scream. We jumped out of bed to see him. He were fallen into the fire. He were gone. The door were wide open and there were fresh drag marks of the sword there, which you can see. He were gone. I don't know, this is like a weird grab glare or something else. Fallen into the fire. Am 
me, I'm just locking in your door. So these are drag marks. Oh, I thought it was a sidewalk. Okay. <gasps> Hello? Found a strawberry hand cannon. <laughs> Let me attach that. I don't think I can use him because I'm on him right now. So. My teammate. <laughs> this is the planet. I'm on his surface. Because <laughs> it is an executive order. Is this right now, people apparently are being kidnapped in this town. So I'm just like. Dude, I don't. I love it. I just love the little, the like, activate executive order! And then just boop. So I'm now on my teammate, so I'm pretty sure I can't use him in combat at the moment. We do work for them. Isn't that slavery? Do you want me to hit you? Hand me a nail. <laughs> okay, go in there. Hold on, sir, have I spoken to you? It's so cold, my stop. <laughs> Jesus! Hi, Astro! Welcome in. You're too- startled me. How was filming? Uh... It was good. I ended up being crew instead of cast, which is fine. I just did the PA stuff, hence why I was in a gun bag, just for funsies. Which, fun fact, I fit in a gun bag. I was here, I've been playing games too. I love you, Nina. Love you too, Astro. But it was fun. I got to use my small size to hide in a lot of places, so... I saw the pic. I think it was so funny. Uh, so there's a... A scene where, like, you know, the camera is here facing a character, and then a character has to pass, and then the light's supposed to turn on, so, like, you're not supposed to see how she turns on the light, because it's a clicker light, you know? This is supposed to be, like, the old school, like, click, welcome in, you know, from the darkness thing. And I'm behind a couch. I can't see anything. So I'm, like, just barely peeked out of the couch, and I have the little, the little click thing, and I'm like, and I just start seeing the camera, and I'm like, <gasps> so I just like hide, I'm like, one, two, click, and then they have to do their whole scene, which involves, her. and it's just, oh, it was great, because I'm just like, sitting there, slightly terrified, because it's like, kind of a scary scene, and then they're like, alright, cut, and I'm like, was that good? Did I do the timing right? I couldn't tell. But, it came out pretty good, and they're gonna put it in festivals and stuff, and so it's like, woohoo. Bring out work. Got ten loonies? You owe me? You got the wrong man. You pretend you don't know me? I see. 
can afford to buy herself a new coat, but you can't afford to pay me back. I never could depend on you, Pete. I'm glad Lori finally dubbed you. Who the hell is Pete? Right on, dude. Thanks, Fire. Also, everyone in this town thinks I'm Pete, and Lori has dumped me, and I don't know why. Except, like, the first guy at the very beginning who's like, hey, watch out. But everyone else is like, oh, Pete. I'm, like, I'm not Pete. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's the storm. Hello, sir. We're open for business and ready for some shuck skin. What is a shuck skin? Text from poison. Text from freezing. Increases beefiness one level in battle. Your planet teammate has been saying stuff about you behind your back turns it happens. I feel like he has! Cause I'm like, my name's not even Pete! And they're just like, Lori's dumped you. So it's like, who knows what they've been saying or witnessing. Cause I'm like, if the planet shrinks and he's just hanging out with me, in theory that's like orbit. So it's kind of like, you know, how we can see the moon. So does that mean in theory they just see my character as a giant thing in the sky and they're like, F you, Pete! Like, I'm just, I'm curious what they do with just seeing large people wandering about. You know, we're gonna freeze loop, because we're in a cold place. I just have so many questions. But uh, yeah, I'm just looking for my teammates now. Keep warm. Oh, I will get there. Alright, so I got best. We got a lot of these fans of black, though. So I'm just. Oops. Okay, that's the end. I'm supposed to find the manor, aren't I? Here are the drag marks, and they end at this lovely tree. F1. Let's me report to the Burgermaster's manor for questioning in case of local disappearances. Yeah, I'm trying to find them right now. This matter. Thanks, Fire. I will. And thank you for the lurk. It's always appreciated. I might be a little lost. I thought that big building was the matter, but apparently that's the end. No matter. The trouble with Pamela. She's flashing. Trouble is this mayorship, headaches upon two things. This whole kidnapping affair has been a burr in my backside for weeks. As if it wasn't bad enough that we haven't heard from the Ring Brothers in six months. If they shrink, does that increase time? I mean, it does spin. Planet does spin kind of fast when he is walking and not using it. Oh no. Sniff. Investigate the matter myself by mayoral. Mayoral. I duties can't be caged up in the matter. It's a shame I'm quite detective instinct. I've quite detective instinct. Don't lift an eyebrow at me. Oh, sorry. I've extensively studied the logant method of lie detection. The subtle clues to your truthfulness are painted all over your face. Sniff. Should I prove it? I'll start by eliminating you as a suspect from the kidnappings. I'm going to ask you a series of questions that will reveal your guilt or innocence. The logat method of lie detection is foolproof. Sniff. What is your name? You speak the truth. Sniff. 
Now then, Mr. Boots, do you like to sneak up on people? Yes. You're lying, Mr. Boots. I don't even need Larkhead to see. If you were telling the truth, you would have snuck up on me just a minute ago instead of tapping me ever so gently on the shoulder. Sniff. Yes, well, I suppose you check out that. Oh, it's so nice to talk to someone nearly my intellectual equal. Everyone around me seems to have lost their brain over the last few years. It's quite depressing, really. Sniff. Excuse me, my thoughts are in motion. Sniff. <laughs> yes, it's a good idea, Penny. It's brilliant. Maybe you could handle some of the legwork for me out in the field. In exchange, I can offer you free room and board at the Fairweather Inn and an invitation to next year's summer boot party. Sniff. Let's see, have you been to the crime scene yet? Why don't you take photographs of it? Nothing too bloody, please. I'm already lightheaded. Bring them back here for examination and I'll solve this case from home. Find the crime scene, photograph any clues of the kidnapping, and take them to the mayor or burgomaster. Well, I took photos of the prints because I thought they were cute, but I'm gonna step ahead. Lockpick. Oh, too much. that door. Look, as I explained to the town, I have no idea what happened to the ring dwellers. I know you're worried, I know you're scared, but I am too. Field liaisons are not privy to the inner workings of the High Council. Please, I promise, I don't know anything. If they send word, you'll know about it as soon as I do. Believe me, I would love to go back home to the ring and see my wife and children. Please lock the door on your way out. Hell is sus, bro. I should not be upgrading the planet that I'm currently on. It seems counterintuitive. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go, I guess, take a picture of that drag mark, and then I'll report back to the cargo master. That is the end. I just want to know who Pete is. Invested in his drama now because everyone thinks I'm him. Alright. There are the drag marks, and this is where they end. Boop. There we go. Catch two photos of evidence. Catch paw prints and drag marks. Sir? From the 
crime scene, but this is impossible. The drag marks stop right underneath the tree. That doesn't make a word of sense now, does it? If the kidnapper is using trees for transportation, or the kidnapper can fly, it'd have to be a strong bird, wouldn't it? Perhaps it's building nest made of human bones and gasoline. Now, this is the interesting picture. It looks like something is sneaking into the town through that hole in the fence. There are three important things to look at here. One, it's too tight to squeeze for a regular person, so it must be a child with the size of a bee. Second, there are tail tall claw marks right underneath the opening. It might it must be a child with very sharp nails. And third, those footprints disappear right under the tree. In conclusion, there must be a child breaking the town, which is the trees for transportation. Perhaps it's a feral child who can climb. Such things are not unheard of in the world. Just a moment, didn't the kidnapper use the trees for transportation as well? Yes, of course, it must be the kidnapper and the feral child are one of the same. But where is this child from and where is he taking the victims? Now, if we could only find out where the child is taking the victims, then we could close this case. Explore the city and take photographs of anything unusual. There must be a clue out there that will tell us where the feral child is from and where it's taking the victims. I mean, the only kid I've seen is the one who said he was so hungry he'd peel off his own face and eat it. That's the only kid I have seen. Where is first a little scamp? Alright, kid. What's up, man? I'm gonna peel my face off and eat it. That is the only her. This is the only one I know. And then the missing kid. Missing kid. Maybe I take a photo of the picture picture of the monster. Adam? Nope. It's okay. Oh, 
should probably something specific I have to photograph. I got a picture of the two fence openings. I got a picture of the drag marks. I got a picture of the footprints. What am I missing? get too much to the perimeter. It's like this is a wall. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what, what setting I forgot to put in? The back seat, like please. <laughs> back seat is allowed because sometimes I need help. the edge of this. I got a photo of this. This is a wall. Doing like being a jerk is a full time job. There's nothing weird with this wall. This is a dead end over here. is not that large. What am I supposed to photograph and be like, oh, I found the next clue, Mr. Man. Yeah, this is the walkway we came from. Anyone knows what I'm supposed to photograph next? Feel free to tell me. Otherwise we will be stuck here. Something else I'm like, what? Alright. Let's see what pictures you've got for me. This picture here, notice the claw marks on the roof and see these little brambles around it? These are white berry burrs from the white caves just a few miles away. Whatever produced the claw marks must have pushed by a white berry bush outside the caves. What is this constant sniffing? I think we now have enough photographic evidence to solve this mystery, young Mr. Boots. The most logical conclusion is that a sharp clawed feral child from the white caves is responsible for the kidnappings. Coming in through the hole in the fence and leaving the giant in the trees. This means there's only one task left for you to do. You must travel to the white caves and bring back the child. He must be made to pay for his crimes. Sniff. Very well then. Sleep at the fair weather inn tonight. Compliments of my of the Burgo Master. We have bright and early tomorrow morning when you will journey to the white caves and bring this case to its proper conclusion. How exciting. I have a feeling it's him. I have a feeling the monster's gonna go sniff, and I'll be like, well, hello, Burgo Master. We need to get. So, I'm going to save. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Dunk kicked you out for good. 
Here's your keys, compliments of the Burgomaster. Have a pleasant evening, Peter. Ooh, cutscene? Oh, this is the room that I broke into. Makes sense now. Trust me. Trust me. <gasps> Where is she? They said they were taking her to a safe house at Sullivan's Peak. I, I mean, Jaggerly Falls. That's where they're taking her. Honest. Nothing. Bone dry nothing. I don't buy it. Somebody's got to know something. Did you try that stunt job, Alvin Stratata? No. I don't like that creep. That's a first. Look, here's how you handle him. Just put your finger on the little twerp and say, It's a shame, Captain. A real shame. What is? Okay, I'm guessing this is the past. Hey, Mr. Boots. Have you seen the tracker? No, but Palatine's good for a look. The camera board is very cute. Oh, thank you. It's kitty cats. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh-oh. I was Never just... mind. Come with me. They've got Sarah. Well, I found the tracker behind the couch, sir. I'm gonna put you out in the field someday, pal. But hello, Tuscara. How are you doing? Ooh, I think we get to see how uh, one of our characters dies. Almost there, baby. Hang on. This is crazy. I shouldn't be here. Lucky for me, you were loitering at the office. What were you doing at this hour there, anyway? I was finishing up old paperwork. I'm good, what about you? I'm great, I just got done filming over the weekend and now I'm playing this. There they are. Just trying to get through it. Probably still like a couple more sessions before we're done with it. Because I'm technically on a teammate right now. He's a planet. You're not gonna make it. I'm gonna I'm make still it. Missing one. You are not going to make it. Trust me. Is that how he died? 24 hours. My people. And that's just to pinpoint the continent they're on. A definitive heat signature will take another 48 hours to lock in. What is everyone so worried about? Is being stranded on the surface of our planet so dangerous? Democritus is a beautiful world. They'll be grateful for a free vacation. Unless, of course, they're in the Desicati Desert, or the Waukee Forest, or sinking to the bottom of the Blue Goose Sea. Oh, put your faith in science, Hal. We'll find them. We'd better. The world is watching. So, those are the elders. They're actually on that ring right now, and I am on that planet. And they're actually our teammate. Because they can shrink to be like normal size. Also, what is this? Bird? <gasps> is this... I feel like this is supposed to be our new teammate, but I'm not sure. You're definitely not anywhere near me. Hello. Comitia? Comitia. Him now? Well, hello. You're looking pretty dehydrated there, Mr. Estrella. Maybe those soldiers would be kind to give you something to drink. Alright. Look at my big old fists. I'm high. Uh, 
Does anyone know that you're just a second? Private Pale to Sergeant Major Sergeant. And yeah, you know anything about an eight, eight foot tall guy in a circus costume, big yellow fist on his chest, enormous hands? That's right, sir. A circus costume. Yeah, he's right here, sir. Well, he doesn't talk much. In fact, he hasn't said a word. He's just standing there looking depressed. He sighs every few seconds. Yes, that's right, sir. Of course, sir. I'll send him your way. Uh, Sergeant Major Sergeant wants to see you. He's on the north side of the camp. <laughs> it seems scared of me. <gasps> no! Oh, my name is Paco, though. That's cute. I'm sorry, I scared him. North side of camp. Run cycle. Okay, you? You've got the proper field of code authorization. Uh. 10. Get out of my face. Oh, he changes it every time. Okay. I will be back for that later then. Let's see if there's anything hiding. Drink? It is a drink. I guess I gotta talk to you gentlemen. Who the hell are you do you have the field code authorization? Obelisk? Get away from here. This information is confidential. We're prepping aerial bursts from the attack as well as pre-launch bullet holes and accelerated. Okay, cool. Missile sweeps. We got ourselves a fancy little operation. Are you sergeant? Don't speak to Lieutenant Colonel Irkef unless you've got field code authorization. Astro, Astro, Neon, Radium, Flotam. Please, <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel, alone. I'm sorry, I'm looking for Sergeant General Sergeant. Who the hell are you? <gasps> Sergeant Major Sergeant! You don't look like a native. Do any of the higher ups know you're here? It's been a while since I've seen any cities. I don't remember them wearing circus costumes, though, but what the hell? I've got no idea the problems we've been through. I don't even know where to start. I guess it was about six months ago, at our main military installation, eight clicks from here. The ring dwellers were sending us ordinances every other week, as well as supplies, equipment, anything to keep us busy and on track. On track of what? I don't know. <laughs> I never understood why they need a surface army when they all live up in that ring. Ain't nobody down here but us dumb Terrans. Anyway, about six months ago, the shipment stopped coming just like that. No supplies, no orders, and most importantly, no off- <laughs> No authentication codes for the installation security systems. Next thing we knew, we were sitting there with expired codes, and then the weekly codes don't match up, the central computer ain't happy. The defense grid automatically went on full alert, looking for any intruders in the base. Unfortunately, that was us. We got caught with our pants down, literally. Major snafu. Yep. We had to leave everything behind. I mean, I don't want to sound melodramatic here, but just imagine if your own home suddenly attacked you one night and we had to abandon it. Anyway, here we are six months later in a temporary base camp planning to retake the installation. My nerves still frazzled enough that I'm spilling my guts to a stranger in a circus costume. Good help. Listen, you ought to talk to the first lieutenant by the air. Let him figure out what to do with you. Let me give you his officer's field code or else he won't talk to you. First lieutenant by visual code is Shadow Grandica Obelus Watcher Lithium. See you later and thank you for not making fun of my name. Small but deadly. Major Tweety. Sand mites, sir. They're crawling in under the perimeter fences. It's a negatory, sir. There's barely enough juice in the generator to refill the transports. Let's see what I can do. We'll go out. Ha. Huh? You must be the walking wall of meat everyone's been talking about. So, unless you got authorization, I ain't talking to you. Oh! Um, I don't think I have yours, Tweety, but. Sorry. Unless you got the right, I don't have the time. Alright, Tweety, goodbye. Touching this. Let's not touch that. Even if you kick it, it goes out. Oh, cool. Fiber. 
a fiber. to stand erect, you spineless primate gelatin blob. What am I supposed to do? Pour you onto the battlefield? Did you dress yourself today, boy, or did you just die of a pile of clothes and wear whatever stuck? I uh, don't. Get the hell out of my face. I'm so sorry, sir. Alright, we got Bieber. Fiber. Are you Fiber? Shadow. Check. So what's your story? The Colonel bring you up here to help us recapture the base. Here we agreed to my situation. We got our butts tied into us in a sling by such a computer. Pretty embarrassing. We wanna make it pretty nice and polite, it's just a matter of time. I know we're wrapping up to a major operation here. We need to stay focused and frosty, but you wanna know what I wanna think about? You're gonna laugh, but it's beer. Of course it's thinking about beer. Hey look at your eyes light up. Yeah, I'm just got a case of beer for my mother and done. Right before we abandoned the base, they brew the finest beer in the world and went and done, which I know isn't saying much, but they'll- Wait, isn't that where I am? <gasps> That's the best beer on the planet, is the, is the best beer on the planet! Anyway, I was waiting for lights out so I could crack open a bottle of suds after a hard day's sweet sweat. Next thing I knew, I was running for dear life in my skivvies. <laughs> where is beer? <laughs> I left it in my footlocker in the officer's barracks. In hindsight, I should have grabbed it before bailing, but at the time I was sure we were under attack. Beer? Beer drinker too, huh? It was a 12 pack of three different types of microbrews. One was a robust honey porter, another was a crisp pilsner, I forgot what the other one was. It's alcohol anywhere on camp. Afraid not, Private Sum cooked up some bark juice the other day, but the lush drank the last night, got the skunk of behind and troop transport. I don't care. Not the talkative time, huh? It's cool. Find your report to Captain Militratus if you haven't already. Watch your radium astro tentaculium. Okay, is that the guy who's like Gurr? Is it you, sir? The Militraticus? Yeah, it's you. Uh, watch your radium astro. Holy hound dog! This walking ham hock knows my field coat. Call me Darla and slab me in kidney butter. What? Get your fat lumbar to Major Tweety immediately, Junglehead. His field coat is Shadow Photon in Integer Tentac Eternal. Shadow Photon hurts, sir. Let it go run now. Alright, You're Tweety? Yeah. Shadow Photon. Guess you're clear. Man, it's been a witch of a day. The generator's been malfunctioning. We got sand mites sneaking in under the perimeter fence, and now there are reports that a little native girl from a neighboring village has wandered into the abandoned installation we're about to attack. Why can't those ginkos watch their kids? Excuse me. What is it, Private? Private George went desert happy, sir, right off whooping and hollering into the Desicati Canyon. As you were, Private. Damn it, that's the third dessert this week. You better report to Lieutenant Colonel immediately. Let him decide what to do with you. Lieutenant Colonel Ingraf is Astro Neon Gambit. I think it's the guy in the tent. Astro Neon Gambit. It's not you, right? No, no, no. It's Sergeant, Sergeant. Uh, Astro Neon Gambit. You're a hero, aren't you? You're gonna save us with your superpowers, is that it? Well, there's no need for your heroics here. My friend, I assure you, I have everything under control. Look around you, these men need hope. Any purpose from taking that installation is the only thing keeping this army together. <laughs> you fly in there, fist swinging, easily securing objectives. How do you think that'll make them feel? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking about the little Ginko girl who wandered into the base with saving her last cause. Even if she somehow avoided the hover mines, the sentient her lasers most certainly will have cut her down. We can't let one dead little girl interfere with this operation. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? The ring dwellers are out to lunch. Perhaps permanently. If we reclaim the installation, we will become the major superpower in this region. So it won't interfere with my operation. I mean it. Like Commander Sergeant Major Heaton, no if you need anything. His field code is Gambit Radium Obelisk. Gambit. Gambit Radium Obelisk. The cost of security breaches these days. I'm surprised your field code checks out. These soldiers behave like children. Here's just one example of our weak security. Every time the power generator drops below the O-line, the 
improving your fence downgrades to half power, which triggers an alarm. That's why a might managed to get in here half an hour ago. The generator should be checked each and every time the alarm goes off. It's the only way to ensure security. If the alarm goes off one more time, I swear I've got half a mind to check it myself. Okay. First you need to find out the location of the installation, then you need to figure out how to get out of the space. And these suckers left out from under outcropping. Pumped about 200 rounds of them. Red shirt caught about five of them. No one really likes so much. <laughs> Red shirt. I got that reference. Alright, that's Sergeant Major Sergeant. How do I set off the alarm? What was this? Location of the base is classified information. I need to set off the alarm. But how? Why do I set off the alarm? Listen, even if it kick it, it goes off. Do I kick it? Excuse me, gentlemen. Okay. Even if you kick it, it goes off. Yeah, so. Kick this wonderful thing. I need to go on. I gotta get that guy away. Is there something else I can do? Hello, people? Please don't hit me. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Can't talk to me. There's something. I'm missing something. but I might have to look up what the fudge was supposed to be doing. Yeah, I think it's like trying to Captain Militocratus. I might have to look up what to do. 
I know what I'm supposed to do, I just don't know how to do it. It smells like a spray cup full of vitrine soup. I think you've got two week old water chunked up like stuck between your teeth. Oh my god. Oh, that's so gross. Sir, yes sir, hick. How am I supposed to kick this? Explain! Explain yourself, how do I kick? No one said any numbers. I just put in a bunch of numbers hoping it would like just act as you know. No. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I am gonna have to look it up. Because I don't know. So now I have to kick the machine somehow. They're like, please. Damage it and escape. Walk through. Where am I? I'm at the surface of Democratus. Send you, officer, officer. Continue this until you meet Commander Sergeant Major Hedgen, who will mention the generator failing. Go and find the generator near the entrance and use your rage my word skill to destroy it. Wait, am I what? Am I supposed to punch it? No, come here. Come here. Oh my god. I'm supposed to punch it. Oh, I feel so dumb. I, I don't know, you didn't explain the rules to me! Just keep the fist in? Happening. Do I keep the fist in the center? Do I click? Keep the fist in the center. Keep the fist in the center. No fist. No. No. Oh my goodness. Uh, Got a kick. Okay. Well, quickly run. Quickly run. Quickly run. That was not a kick. Also good to know that's his ability. I did not know that. Open quickly. <laughs> Dang it, she had to like scare me. I was like, oh, what's happening? And then I was like, oh, it's Crab Brave. Welcome to Keynote Cordio. They like to say face a lot. They're like, get out of my face. Improper access. Oh. Uh, oh. Hello, champ. Welcome. Welcome. Uh oh. Bless you. I'm totally not cheating. Fan security code to change daily. Today's code is 65712. 65712. Alright, 65712. Squeezy, squeezy, squeezy. You good? You got sneezes? 65712. Welcome in, chap. Hope your day is going well. I am my last teammate and I am very happy. Thank you for the crap, Rafe. She's the best. It was cute. Cass covered her eyes earlier. Oh, oh, oh. Did you? No, it's okay. Stay. No, just stay. You're cute.
I helped us find it. 65, 7, 12. Wait. 65. I can't hit the 5 button. Is it maybe this thing? No, this thing. to the iPad thing is cage if I remember right. Good thing we just got it. Oh, never mind, you got it. It's okay. It still counts, and I appreciate it. And let me just boop and boop so I can keep an eye on my face. <sighs> my fists are ridiculously huge. Ridiculous. But I was like, we're doing pretty good. Also, I'm concerned. They said six months since the ring people said anything. Is that like in time with when they joined our party? I woke up like five minutes ago and still pajamas on. Dude, no worries. Chad, just chill and vibe with us as my big old fists just punch sand lights. Okay, this, this guy needs to go. Actually, what are my skills? Radius Rage. Ground pound. Can we try a ground pound? Let's try a ground pound. <laughs> oh my god, this is big old. Love it. Alright. Ooh, do I have enough for my other skill? No, not yet. Alright, we'll punch it. I have snacks nearby, and I'm like, I got goldfish, got mini wheats, and coconut chips. But I'm feeling like a meal. I don't know what. Just, this is ridiculous! Ooh, level 29! Alright, you gotta get you strong, my friend. Alright, into the little drinks. Let's go. Friend him. I mean, I can try. Yeah, I'll try to befriend the dinosaur. Oh my god, it's like the game arc. When you befriend them with your fist, they're just like, as long as you're unconscious, I keep feeding you. <gasps> He's a raptor. Does that mean uh, David Hasselhoff will be seen in the background? God, such a trippy video, but it's so good. What was it? Kung Fury, I think is what it was called? super close, but like maybe like two or three more sessions. Alright, Raptor. Feel my radius rage. Ooh. Okay, he's got an area attack. I like that. Oh. Sorry, no laser raptor chair. <laughs> Not today. Plenty of money. My raptor is carrying 500 bucks on it. Let's go, raptor. My fists. There's a lot of them. Okay, I'm ready. He shoots laser out of his tail. What? You know what? I'm a fire psych just for that. Did not 
do much. Laser Scorpion Raptor. <laughs> Had to just tweak the name a little bit. Okay. Alright, y'all need to stop with the lasers. Oh my god, he's on fire! <laughs> of course the one that's on fire is the one that hits. Radius Rage, my my friend. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, we've yet to have a guy that can do like an area attack. Okay. All right, fists. What do we got here? Not even see that. Perfect. Actual path, I just did a guess. Ah, nice. Alright, let's go, you bugs. Sounds are kind of cute. Them. <laughs> Sound like little squeaker toys. <gasps> you leveled up. Beautiful. Good job, Paco. Good job. How dare! That's the sound of death, Nina. <laughs> How dare you! The sound of death is a squeaker toy. is adorable. Now time to punch these scorpion laser raptors. I'll make sure I- ooh, ooh, whatever I die! I mean, for last words, that's definitely gonna be an interesting thing, you know, just like, Way down the line, they're like, What did he say on his deathbed? He said, Oh, woo. What? Yeah, he just went, Oh, woo. And they just died. Beautiful. Please, please, if you can, oh, woo for me. As you die. Which would be many decades from now. And future historians will be confused. They're like, Why is everyone a wooing when they die? It's like, Shh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it from the early 2020s. Don't worry about it. Alright, heal breeze. But the music is definitely interesting. Get this up. Why did he put on cat ears while he was being stabbed? <laughs> ah, I've been stabbed! Hold up, I'm ready for this. Oh, woo! <laughs> oh, it works. I'm game. If I were to ever start a cult, I think that would just be a fun thing. It's like, make sure you got your cat ears on when you- Oh, woo! Get back 
fight this up. Love you too, bro. Ooh, I need to heal my guy. He's not doing too good. It's okay, he's just depressed. <laughs> from one of the kickstarters that I followed they're like we're live so I was like all right time to throw money at that project oh my god please save please please avoid the lasers It's like, but what if I need them? And they're like, you're in the middle of a boss fight, you need them. This is a door. This this vent had a broken vent outside. Maybe this vent? No. This is important though. This is glowing. Excuse you, sir. Hey, 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 
Okay. 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 The door is just a wall that moves. You're not wrong, champ. You're not wrong. Nope. Yep. The fist. Keep the fist in. Philosopher behind the book. Hey, it works, man. Just keep it. Calling it moving walls. I like it. Ooh, did that just have a gun? It did. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, son of a. Paco hurt. Paco is hurt. Paco needs to be. Strong independent man for me right now. Alright, let's fist it up. I guess it's rage might. Rage might. Stay. Okay. Small child is somewhere in here. scared of me. Oh! Don't be scared, just let me save! You should be scared of the Roomba of Death. Which, funny enough, this game was made in 01, so it's kind of on par. Okay, there's stairs there. of the space I have not explored. Oh, son of a- Oh my goodness. 
Really? That is giving me no one lives under the lighthouse vibes, right? I almost really want to play like another game like that. It's just like even though it was like low pixel quality, you know, like an older game, it still was just weird and creepy where you're just like, no one lives under the lighthouse. You're like, bull, bull's check. Look at all this. What is this? And you're like, no one lives under there. It's like you shut your mouth. See you. Run, 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 run. Alright, ready to punch this? Yeah. I don't think this is the elevator. But I'm gonna look at the map to see if I can find it. Got rid of that pew 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 guy. Those are the barracks where I came from. Spin sucker becomes a phantom fish. I'm feeling. Oh, okay, so that's where left goes. Cool, 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 cool. I just did a big old. Works for me. Alright, wrong way. Try again. Right, death room go. Free elevator to basement map show two rooms open elevator. Where is elevator? I'm sorry, it's way over there? Hold up. Hold up. I have to run down. Pretty much take a right. And it's through the mess hall and the barracks. It's way back in there. Danger panic! Hold on, hold on, okay. So I'm in this wall 
long hallway. Just go down. I believe this is the ramp. And this is where that big old car is. I'm just gonna run, take a right, go through the room, and then take a left. Okay. Alright, let's try it. And yeah, let's go. Go, my majestic man. Oh no, it's the lighthouse again. Shh, it's not the lighthouse again. Be okay, champ. Oh my god, I missed you. Left, right, left, right, run! <laughs> Don't make me laugh! Try to focus! Left! <laughs> okay, the fear is real, man! Mothman wannabe! I'm gonna get hit! Ah! I made it! I'm a champion. Take that, wannabe Mothman! Uh -huh. Ooh, I am too tall. Paco has gained a level. <gasps> Hello, small child. Are you a bad guy? What's happening? I came here to rescue you, but careful. They are fragile. Big hands. Is this what convinces him to be a superhero again? I'm Paco. And you? Don't drop them. Oh, I gotta drop the, the kid. Some reflection. Oh my god. Oh, she's sharing her toy with me. Oh. Yes, potato hearts. I killed her! Dude, I thought for a second, I was like, Ugh. I'm gonna puke. We're the most technologically advanced society in the system, and we can't even find three people on the surface of our planet? Oh my Actually, we have a lock on one. Who? Unknown. But the rescue shuttle is already en route, so we'll know within the hour. <clears throat> well, uh, good, see? Uh, that's what happens when we speak up. One down, two to go. Wait, who's the other person? Oh, stiletto! No, bro! Oh my god, where is Bro? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, hello. I found a cute little village. Not dead, so that's at least good. There's a 
lot of you. Wait, hold on, no, what was the... What was the water doing? Are you water bending? Hi. Blue glass, friends are welcome in Tencel. Please come in. The Chichin's Fidelo can give you guidance. Is he doing sign language? Because if so, that's hella cool. We're doing sign language! I've dedicated my life to raising the plants and flowers of this town. Fun fact, each party member has their own place and can be on the trip. Oh, that's cool! Where does Pal end up? A rent or shrub grows everywhere. It has three types of leaves. Three leaves of which are... Okay, it's not full sign language, but it's like, it feels like a little bit of sign language. So we switch there. If you were the golden leaves, which there are fewer still. Hello? Is this... Okay, I have another elemental host. I don't fully understand. Because I got three of them, technically. Are these all the best I have? These are all the best I have. Level four. Oh, wait, hold on. Put you back. Level four, level five. Put you in, my friend. Red, yellow. That's like the best one I got. I need to Are you gonna me back? Oh. Because opposite is already present. All functions have supported bugs. Perhaps maybe I put too many. I forgot. What do the leaves do again? Super understand the bug system, but I'm I'm gonna try. Oh. Okay. I know how to access my other hosts now. I was like, how do I access my other buggy bugs? Oops. Throw a red one in. Thanks for the alert, Creative. Hope your day's going well. Hearts, hearts. Okay, we'll use this book. There we go. We got some power coming out of the mail. Its opposite is already present. Oh, 
I'm gonna use this back. I totally forgot what the leaf does. But if I find the courage, I will ask her to join me for the festival of fire. I think a lot of this is You drop the water jugs every time you talk to her. Oh, I'm shy. Green beetle, yes! It's our first green one, too. Master time and space can figure this out. Eh, probably not. Prob probably not. I don't fully understand it. And I know that is my weakness. Alright, well, we'll just fill this up here. I said that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Today, come out into the sun, Saucy Dajo. Saucy Dago is mourning the death of his mother. Oh, please, Saucy Dago, the morning is over. You must rejoin the village now. He will not listen. Oh, poor guy. Beware, Gore the Great Destroyer. He threatens community, he threatens love. Love, communion, and belong. Use the ways of the Shode. Marcus is very busy today, and my nephew is not here to help me. There's something in the pouch. Should I take it? There was a heel glass complete inside. Love and communion! <gasps> What's this? We're on a poison tempest. I'm finding all the things today. Hello, sir. People have a story about a boy named... Naho Pico. He didn't feel a part of his family. He felt different from everyone in the town, so he abandoned his home. In the wilderness, only Gore welcomed him with open arms. His fortune upon misfortune plagued him. 
The wind stripped him of his compassion and love. Only a small pebble of bone was left of him, which was eaten by a fish. The greatest tragedy was the difference between Gaho Pico and the people of his town was only in his mind. We all feel somehow that we are different. We are different, but that is why the Shode embrace each other. It is how we have survived war, famine, and all manner of disaster. Simplicity, community, and love. Oh, they're so wholesome, damn it! Oh my god, it's a BB dream. She's just chilling in the well. Found a silver leaf. Ooh. Didn't that guy want them? Last night, the spirit of my father came to me. He told me to prepare for a harsh winter. But Chief Tynas Helda has spoken nothing of this. What trouble has Gore breathed into the air? That's as good as mine. Let's go out here. Each bee took me several moves to produce. Though each one was a beautiful individual stone, they worked best when strung together. How could you have broken the thread and lost them? Oh, you pitched out. The Grand Chief just can be found in the shadow corner of the Temple of Wonder. Why are they in the shadow? It was an accident. The necklace slagged on a branch and the thread snapped. Some of the beads rolled away. Wait, I have the beads! I got the beads. Okay, I'll keep the beads for myself then. That is why they are of such value to us. Well, I got silver leaves. I tricked my sister into eating a bad ziffin berry by dipping it into water. If it soaks long enough, the water will turn the berry a red color. She was sick for a day. She said Gore was going to get me. Try dipping ziffin berries in water to make them look right. Why? What am I going to do with this knowledge, small one? Pick me berries, my husband. <gasps> His name is Wakanda! Those berries are not ripe, my life. They will make your stomach ache. Ha, Newman. Then buy me berries at the marketplace. Dude, 2001! Little did you know. Do you, do you want berries? If a woman asks for berries, <laughs> you better get some. I love you, husband. Oh, let me just, you just want berries, damn it. <laughs> Wakanda wants berries, okay? Serves her berries. What's happening here? Lunar field on summer's night, ghosts upon ghosts upon harvest. Thoughts? Kindred tribe, our love is a healing shrub for the village, for the future, for the ancestors to come. She better get some. I hope so, champ. Ancestral drums play by spectral hands. Eye upon star, hand upon wheel, sun upon moon. I have a new item in my inventory. Listen, mother, listen, father. What is happening? Sir? To the sun that warms the fields, to the wheel that churns the water, to the eye that sees the visions, to the hand that strings the beads, to the star that guides our ancestors, to the moon that watches over the night, peace guide you. Okay. Okay, but I need I need to get in there. Okay. Green, sister me, find peace and guidance. I would love peace and guidance. Let me in the building. Alright. Please do not touch my belongings, my sister. That is fair. The birds upset me. They eat the fruit behind my back. Uh, bird? Bird? Am I going to use the bird to distract him to then steal from him? I'm a horrible person. Did you just 
decision to leave the village, you must tell the family. I will not do it, my son. Er, that poor man. Er, person. Thief. I did it for the quest. You have taught me all I should know. You should give me all I should have. Totally did not steal his golden leaf, which is hella rare. That's probably the temple. But let's take a look around. What is he doing? Welcome to Tensil. We are the show day. This is our home. You look lost, my sister. You're welcome to join our village. If you do not have a family, we will embrace you as our own. My sister, your ability to understand our language sets you apart from all the others who have wandered into our village. If you do not feel you belong here, there is a town not far from here with humans like yourself. I would tell you the location, but knowledge requires trust, and I must trust you. Leaves are important to us, my sister. They represent life, the cycle of seasons, the show day, our spiritual people. We chew the leaves that grow in this area to help us communicate with the spirits of our ancestors. I'm welcome to stay there, but if I don't feel like I belong here, you'll let me go somewhere else. But you won't tell me where that town is. In autumn, some of the leaves grow amber. Sometimes a small number of them resemble gold. These golden leaves are valuable to us. If you collect one for each season of the year and bring four of them back to me, I will tell your fortune as well as provide the way to the nearest human village. Yeah, I found a cult. Okay. Yep, I found a cult. Well, I have thoughts of living the village. Sometimes I feel they do not understand me. That they will never understand me. You're not part of the village. Do you understand me? Yeah. I'm like, you're welcome. You can leave. We just won't tell you where. Hello there. You must be the one looking for golden leaves. I have a golden leaf. I have lots of golden leaves. Why should I give you one? I want to have my fortune told. I won't beat you to a pulp if you give me the leaf. Talking to you isn't worth the leaf. I'll find another one. Fortunes are for superstitious old women. Give me a better reason. I'll perform some arbitrary task for leaf. There's nothing you could do that I can't do myself. Give me a better reason. I'll trade you something. There's nothing you have that I want. Give me a better reason. You're not going to hit me. You're a stranger in this village. If anyone sees you do it, they will perform holy ginazu on you. What? Is a torture ritual performed against those who have acted violently against the sh Shode? No one allowed to raise their hand against us, even one of our own. It involves a ball of leaves the size of a fist fruit, packed tight with thorns and sharp zipple sticks. It is soaked in the juice of fire lemon for 48 days. Handling the ball is very painful. Guess where the villagers shoved this ball? Okay, that's okay. Then hit me, I dare you. I don't want to hit him. Ah, uh, F it. Back. Oh no. No way, I don't even have a golden leaf. You're <laughs> Take my silver leaf and leave me alone. I don't even he probably could have just been lying to me. Okay, I think I have four silver leaves. Oh, you want four golden leaves. Damn it, I have one. Is this the temple? Is that the temple? Find four golden leaves and take them back to the chief just to have your fortune told. Okay. Well, I have the beads. So there's a chance they're gonna give me something for that. Is it on? I tried to get in there, but they were like, nah. Alright. Time to find our leaves. She wants berries. Do I have to get her berries? I probably have to get her berries. <laughs> I'm gonna go get Wakanda some berries. Yep, I have the beads. Did I miss a bead? I thought I grabbed all the beads. Do you have berries? Wait! The bird guy has berries. Do you sell berries? Nope. Oh, I don't see the... Oh, there he is. He's just floating at the bottom. Cool. Oh, 
shadow corner of the Temple of Wonder. Of them for me, I will give you a golden leaf. Must be ripe or they will make the stomach sick. They must not be eaten unless they are this color, not lighter, not darker. Hurry back now. Oh, is that what I picked up? I didn't pick up freaking the beads, I picked up zipple berries. Wait, can I throw them in the water? Bring them some chemo for the Okay, but the guy said. And put it in water. Sir. Learn from going back. May you find these. I'm gonna try. Just yell, young Bobby, at the Wakanda person. God, it's such a good scene, too. Bobby! Bobby! You're like, I don't know what's going on, but yeah! Threatens community, threatens love. From the looks of it, I don't go into any of these houses. So I don't have your beads. Apparently I might have berries. But I have beads. Oh, when the regular leaves. Yeah. Do I have berries for you? I love you, husband. I love you, wife. They're so cute. You, small child. To make them look right. For four silver leaves. <gasps> yes! Alright, we're getting there. Find these berries. Um, can I get this? These are probably not. I, I'm sorry. No! Did I return it? No, did I return it? I did. Uh, bird person, bird, I need you to, I need you to get over there real quick. I didn't mean to return it. I'm sorry, I kind of need it, my man. What's up? Double thief. Don't look at me, champ. I didn't say I was a good person. Yo, there's a bird. Uh, yes. Sorry, friend. I swear you're a friend. Are you still fighting? I will come back with my stories and grow old here, I promise. Resist the temptations of gore. Be safe and know the village is always here for you. Corner. You gave me silver leaves here. You're cool. <gasps> Can I go in here? Ooh, okay. There's more to explore. Save. Yes. Yes. 
This is my rite of passage. I am very hungry. I have not eaten for two days. I must stay here until I commune with the spirit of an ancient ancestor who gave my adult name. I will not be accepted into the village as an adult until this happens. Round. I have already chewed a silver leaf to help in the process, but nothing has happened. I fear that a spirit will never come for me and give me a name. No, you are leaving the community! I will either die here or be forced to leave the village. I don't want to give him a leaf, but you know what? I did just save. Would it help if I give him a golden leaf? You are kind and generous. If I chew a golden leaf, a spirit will surely come and give me a name. Thank you so much. It's very good. I think I'll have no problems commuting. I gave him my leaf. Enjoy my leaf, kid! Enjoy my leaf. Alright, what's, hap what's happening here? Temple of Gara in the blaze of the sun. I call on your moon, I call on your hearth. Gore turns the wheel and the stars run in step. And upon I, when sun blinds the moon, the three become one, one becomes all. Enough. We each ingested a golden leaf, we're already feeling the effects. I see much in your sister. You have a restless spirit, you feel you do not belong anywhere. Yet you crave the security of acceptance, and you find peace. So isn't that just everybody? You will either find love and acceptance where you choose to find it, or you'll forever wander without peace. O oh, Temple of Garea, Gore tells us lies, Gore tells us truth, Gore is the imbalance, the internal ache, the disease of soul. Gore is poison, Gore is poison, my family is deliverance. I am concerned for... <gasps> is this... Maybe I can do multiple silver leaves to get another golden leaf. I don't think... <gasps> I'd rather not barge into a place of worship without permission. That is terrible. I don't think I'm leaving the community, I'm just... Taking a little, little sightseeing tour. Snoring? You haven't used Analyze, it's gotta be something you can use it on. Mm, that's true. It's bush. Kid. <gasps> I didn't even need it. Collect them, so I'll provide that remaining leaf. We are ready to begin. Close your eyes, my sister. Hold out your arm with the four leaves in your fist. Okay. Feel the collective energy of this world and turn your focus inward and let go. Now open your eyes. Let us see how the leaves have fallen. Interesting. You are an honest person, you do not allow your needs to override your conscience. You also have no qualms about taking the belongings of others. Yet, yeah, in other ways, you deeply respect the needs of others. You have a very contradictory nature, my sister. I suspect you struggle daily with the matters of the soul. The leaves have spoken, my sister. Although you have frequent lapses in judgment, the leaves are quite clear in the matter. You have an honest nature golden soul. You must be more true to your character. It is only through self-will that you sabotage the generosity inside you. The word of the leaves is as good as the word of our ancestors, and so I will not regret sharing the information with you. 
The leaves tell us there is a drought coming, and when there is drought, there is famine. Many of us will die. Our only hope of surviving this hardship is to band together, but there is a problem. The youth of this village are losing touch with their sense of community. The fabric of our society is falling apart. Sir, I am having a very deep conversation here. Can you not walk in the middle of it? <laughs> Many generations ago. <laughs> I'll steal your heart, Adela. There is similar discord building in the hearts of the youth, fueled by the demigor demigogor gore who preached individuality over community. The only thing that saved our society was the Shini, an ancient relic of immense magic. We need this symbol to reunif reunify us and in reunif reunifying us save us again. Except the Shini relic is hidden deep within the holiest of our temples protected from thieves by a variety of lethal traps. Unfortunately, the method of circumventing traps died with the builders of the temple many ages ago. Yes. There is no one in the village who would be trusted to survive these trials, but I believe you have the intelligence, determination, and compassion to do it. Please, help me save my people. Alright, bro. Oh, well, great. Are you, the, are you the little leaf rascal? It's the spirit of my grandfather. He told me my adult name is Bodua. Thank you for helping me. I'm an adult because of you. You're so little. Probably the big old temple over here. You really gonna steal his heart, Chan? I wanna see it. So the berries that I have collected. I guess it's like if I didn't steal the golden leaf. Yes, Emple the Temple of Gore. Oh, it said read all the glyphs. Sequence of ancient glyphs. <gasps> Alright, let's see. Green, orange. Yep. Nope. Back it up. This, this, this. Green. Got it. I think I figured it out. It says face the stone, the next you learn, think backwards six or find it first and churn. Oh no. Oh no. We offered Gore. Oh, we offend Gore by entering his domain. I died for this sin. You may not. If you see it first. We got riddles! We got riddles, man. Here we go. <laughs> Big brain energy time. Okay. Do I need to turn this? Okay, nothing's happening. Okay. You see it first? Face the stone, the next you learn, think backwards six, or find first and churn. I was guessing. Face the stone. Well, it's a moon now. Do we have a moon symbol? Backwards moon. Oh, oh, we didn't like that. Sun. Okay, we like I. For some reason. Don't like blue. Do you want the cross? Because I'm looking at the wall pattern. And it's like, I did I. And I did moon, and it was like F off. So I was like, maybe I got to cross X. Crossy cross? Maybe that crossy cross? Hold on, hold on. Where's the one that- okay, and then this one? Am I on the right track? Nope. Dang it. Hold on, hold on. Alright. Eyeball. Star. Hold on. Where was I when I saw that? I 
was looking at this. I did I, and then I did star, and then I did cross, and they were like, hey, ooh. Face a stone, the next you learn, think backwards six, or find first in churn. Huh? <laughs> Face the stone, next you learn, backwards six. We know it's not cross. There's only so many combinations. You know what? Notes. Notes it up. Alright. We got our eyeball. Oh, it's time too. Alright, calm down, calm down, calm down. Alright. So we have this symbol. We have a sun. Sun, just my brain members. Peace sign. The peace sign. And then we have a moon. Okay. Okay, we got this. We're smart. We can figure this out. Alright. Let's go. Eyeball. Oh, you're not happy with. What do you mean? Uh. What do you mean? Uh. Excuse you, sir. Let me try the sun. Nope. The sun. Face the stone. When I faced it, it was blank. Go suck a dick, suck a dick, suck a motherfucking dick, suck a dick, suck a huge or small dick. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> I'm sure you really had to, champ. I'm sure. I'm just absolutely sure. Oh, it's a claw, not a piece. <gasps> okay, they like claw. And then maybe sun. Oh, what's left? What's left? Ah, the moon. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, okay, okay. So, what was it? It was the sun, and then the cloud, and not the moon, which means it's probably the cross. Alright. Because I figured it's a lot of running across the room. It's a timed event. The claw! <gasps> Larry Ted! Welcome in! We're working on a riddle. I am honestly guessing. I don't really know where the answer is, so I'm just process of elimination. And it seems to be working. Alright, and the sun. Nope, not the sun. Damn it, what was it? I thought it was the sun. Was it the cross? I messed up my own notes. Alright, eyeball. Was it the cross? I think it was probably the cross. Star symbol. Is it the branch? The wheel, sorry. Okay, it wasn't the sun, and it wasn't the wheel. Is it the claw? I don't even remember what happened five minutes ago. Fudge. Fudgety fudge fudge. Eyeball. Star symbol. Claw? It was claw! Then sun. And sun. And I think we did moon last time. Let's do wheel. <gasps> moon. Moon, 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 moon. Face the stone? I did the eyeball first. And then I did the plusy. 
and then I did the claw. And then from the claw, it would die to I don't know. Friend, I'm safe because that was a doozy. Right, what we got? My soul suffers here, yours shall too. I could not see the opposite for what they were. No. Alright, bro. Opposite, the pillars attend, the other block to other side must return again. Oh boy. Okay, eyeball. And the wheel. Oh, he's got a... It's yours now. Rather convenient that the character can scandalize the place that requires it. You keep it forever. I don't want to keep it forever. She can't do combat anymore. She's just one with the box. Okay, I wanted to... anything else that's like open before I take it. Okay. You come with me then, I guess. She, she can't do combat anymore. Hey, I got a box and it seems to be heavy. I'm sure I could still do combat. I'll just chuck it. Just, yeah. I feel like this is not correct, but the fact that it's going do 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 has me just like, okay. Uh, moon. Yeah. I don't know. Oh wait, this is the same. It needs to be inverted. Yeah, okay. Nope! Back. Actually, she can still do combat as long as the combat is boxing. Nice. Nice, Larrington. Nice. Wait, no, the same. Is it same? I thought I know things. I don't know anything. Just pick up the box. Put them together. See what happens. Let's go fight. Alright, sun. Put you in here. It seems to be making like happy sounds. Okay. Moon. Pick your back up again. the theme that I'm going for. Opposite, opposite. So I'm like, maybe they do have to match? I was thinking like inverted, but if, like, if it's the opposite, it's opposite, then be the same. Maybe that's not a happy sound. Maybe that's a like, no, I don't like this sound. Alright, come here. Is my original hypothesis correct? It's inverted colors. You're just being a butt and not letting me put things. Alright, inverted. 
come hither. So I'm like, maybe? I gotta do it for all of them, so you can correct. This might take a minute. Grab yourself a snack. <laughs> Go use the bathroom break. <laughs> this is gonna take a minute. Alright, inverted. With this puzzle and the fact that I just finished the Captain Fist guy and Sly Boots' thing, how close am I now to the end? Like, like maybe halfway through 60? Inverted. Inverted. You are pretty close. Ooh! Alright. Inverted sun. Let's go over there. Stuff. I was like, man, I wonder how many more days we got of this. Because I don't mind. It's delightful. See, and then I hear that sound. That doesn't fill me with joy. I'm like, I can't move that fast. Alright. And then inverted cloud. So if I'm totally off base, let me know. Otherwise, we're gonna be sitting here for a while. Right. Clow, saw you over here. We got Clow. Clow. Shush, tum tum. Making a puzzle. You're inverted. You need to be inverted. You're pretty close. theory doesn't work, we're gonna go and just flip the boxes, so it's opposite of the opposite. Come here, Ibo. There's only so many opposites you can do. Alright, let's go. This block and put it over here, or is it the first blocks that I had, and then that's opposite? Because otherwise, we're gonna be sitting here for a minute. Opposite, opposite, the pillars attend, the other block to the other side must return again. I think you swap them, right? Must return again. Opposite and opposite, the pillars attend. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking this color pattern, but like across the hall. So you'll come here. Can I be cool? Can I just swap or is that just too much? It's too much. How 
dare I? Put it, put it down, please. I, like, I know it's one of them. There's only so many patterns I can do. Turn around, you majestic creature. Maybe we'll hear a different sound. Exactly a happy sound either. It's just boop, boop, boop. Damn it. And then I hear that like which sounds like a fail sound. Okay, cool. I find the opposite block. We're Okay, so opposite block run away. Okay, so theory was right, just have to switch them. Let's see, Chaos is smart enough to get out. She's looking at the door and like it's like cracked open. There she goes. The power of the pile! how anyone likes hard-boiled eggs. I can't get over the crunchiness of them. What? what kind of eggs are you eating, champ? Hard-boiled eggs are crunchy. Are you eating them with the shell? Yeah, yeah, no, they're not crunchy. What kind of eggs are you thinking of, champ? Yeah, you hardball them, and when you bite into them, they instantly crack and are crunchy. You take the shell off. You take the shell off, and then you eat it. You don't... No. No. Who... Who told you to bite into the hard boiled egg? No, that's what the whole, like, the whole, like, cute little, like, egg holder is. And you have the spoon, and you go... That's that whole, like, little gimmick thing. You thought I was serious? Bruh, I don't know, okay? Sometimes you say things and I'm like, bruh, I hope you're not, but you know what? There are some people out there. Be serious. Like, God, what was it? Like, not a friend, but there was a person. I don't know how they got into the topic. But they're talking about, like, when they go to the bathroom, you know? Doing number two. And he was like, oh, I hate it so much, you know, I just gotta really, like, wash my hands afterwards. <gasps> this one there. And they were like, well, yeah, it's good. And he's like, yeah, you know, it's just always such a gamble, like, you know, when you, when you have to catch it. And everybody's like, when you catch it? And he's like, yeah, you know, you have the toilet paper in your hand, and you catch it, and you throw it in the toilet. And they're like, what do you catch? What do you mean, catch it? So, you know, some some people do things differently. That's why I'm like, I hope they're not. Like, oh, oh, this is... oh, do I have to run? Okay. Oh yeah, that radio shot, I saw that. Bro. See, I'm not the only one who believed you, champ. I'm not the only one who believed you. I was like, bro, it's a convincing argument. And yeah, no, that radio show was a trip. I was like, what? Which just got me thinking. I was like, is that a thing? Dude, how do you get taught that? How does someone instill this knowledge of you? Like, this is what you do when you go. Like, what happened? She sound at me. Hold up now. See an eyeball. Is that not supposed to come down here? So I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought it. it was like, okay. Stood out for a second. Oh, 
There's a whole thing over here. I totally missed it. My bad. You, sir. I died falling here. I have studied the bridges. I guess at their secret, the bridges are unsafe. You must cross them quickly. To cross the bridge, you must quickly choose which side to step forward onto, the left or the right. The choice will be between one of six tiles, sun, moon, star, eye, wheel, or claw. Claw. Some of the tiles must be trapped. Be observant for clues. So choose good tiles and don't choose drop throughs or bad tiles. You only have a short time on each step. Each tile will break a little, a lot, then break. Move before it breaks. Don't perish as I did. Okay. Since the weakest enemy, walk not on the giant that you can see. Ready to cross these bridges quickly. I need clues to which tiles are bad and not step in any holes. Uh. The claw? Okay, I'm making a note. Hold on. Claw? I'm sorry! I was writing down my notes! Because I have a bad memory! Well, then what was the little thing in the corner? Maybe that's what opened the doorway. Alright. Claw. Uh. The wheel. The, the eyeball. The moon. The wheel again. The eyeball. Oh my god, they're there! I can see them! How did he die falling? That wasn't that bad of a fall. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so... Moon, sun, eye, sun, eye, claw. Well, I guess eye. Alright, moon, sun, eye. Oh, eye's bad. What's wrong with that? I might need help of just <laughs> my notes. Cause I guessed. I was guessing on that first one. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, claw. And then I said wheel. And then I said eyeball. And then I said moon. And then I said wheel again. And then I said eye. And I did that because they were like, don't pick what you can see. So don't pick what you can see. So moon, sun, plus he sign. Uh, moon, uh, sun, uh, claw, uh, sun, uh, sun, sun. <laughs> We're doing good. I can't see anything right now. Oh. Nope, not the sun. Damn it. It's not sun. Not sun on the third one. Okay. So the first one's pretty pretty simple. It's the second one that kind of gets me. Alright, claw. Wheel. Eyeball. Moon. Wheel. Eyeball. Don't pick eyeball. Sun. Sun. Cross and cross. Sun. Sun. Claw. Sun. Wheel. Oh, we drive to zigzag? Is that it? Why did sun and I die? So, eyeball? Oh, it changed. Wheel. Uh, 
Crossy cross, no sun. Don't pick sun. Moon. Don't pick sun. Wheel. Uh, cross. Uh, clock. Doing good. We're doing good. Alright, moon. Wheel. No claw. Don't pick claw. Uh, cross. I guess you know, it's kind of just zig and zag. Sun. Don't pick the sun. Don't pick the sun. Oh, that's how they get you. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Don't pick the claw. Don't pick the claw. Don't pick the claw. Oh. Oh God. Yes. Good job, team. Good job. My notes didn't even matter. Sir, at least my spiritual form has no holes of the painful darts. Say one now. Sun serenity, walking wisely sets you free. You don't say. Setting sun serenity, so be in the beams of light. Uh, oh my god. Uh, 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 I don't uh, know. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that was it. I don't think that was it. How's my health? She's fine. She's fine. She's a trooper. I don't feel like that was it, but we'll go. We'll, we'll see. Oh my god, is that. Do they accept that as a crossing? What the fudge is this? Those blades took my soul in Gore's name. If only I had explored. Not the path. Find the route to escape death's wrath. So don't go that way. Don't go that way. Don't go this dark way. I do. Way down here. All right, we're not doing too bad. We've lost a lot of people in this temple. Let's go. Alright. Bring his tummy. We'll eat something in a second. Calm down. I wandered into the darkness and was lost. It's a beautiful hint, bro. Gore's anger. See your feet, you see no danger. Can I take this torch with me? New. Uh. Oh I'm guessing I have to stick to the light. Thank you for the slapped air hole. Not what it seems. Is it a guillotine? But I tempted fate. It's a guillotine. I think 
figured it out. It says, when the throne of Gore you see, do not run to kiss his feet. So, so walk. Back to the chief. Yep, to the chief. And I gained a level. Good job, bro. Oh yeah, nice. GG! Thank you, Larry Turn. Good job. Riddles thought they had me. I think not. That's right. You're an adult now. Good job, kid. Found your adult name. It's chieftain. Your artifact is a mistap, which means it's active now. Hello, Sam. Welcome back, my sister. I'm relieved to see you're still alive. Were you successful in finding the Shin Mi? My prayers have been answered. You are holding the holiest artifact of my people. I remind the youth of this village that there is strength, unity, safety, and community. Thank you, my sister. The show day are eternally grateful for your efforts. Take this map, it contains the location of the nearest human village. May you find the family you seek. Leave town to get to the nearest human village. Cool, 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 cool. Later, Chief! That's so nice. A little culty, but very nice. I have berries. Do you want them? I love you, husband. I love you. Alright, bye, Wakanda. I tried to give you berries. Are we all gonna like simultaneously meet up at this spot? <gasps> this is sly? Is it the winter? <gasps> sly! Go rescue them kids, my man. That's a big old snake. Search the white caves for the missing boy. Big old snake. It's a snow snake. That shoots lightning and rain clouds? Okay. Shoot the snow snake, please. Get, get out of here. Have I been poisoned? Oh. Dang it, snow snake. Alright. I'm make sure that I'm got the best of the best. I realized I did not give him a shield. shield either. Oh, bad teammate. Shocking. Quite. Quite shocking. That a snow snake would be like, pss, pss. Excuse you, sir. What you were Like, I understand you're in snow, but I didn't expect your powers to, you know, not be snow. What are you? Sorry, what? Those seals? No, this is a snow sucker. Oh my god, it's so much worse. Ooh, that mouth! <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> My brain went with that mouth too. <laughs> Nothing good. Nothing good. Okay, it's like a leech seat. I'm just like, ah, oh, I hopefully reunite with my team soon. Oh, oh. Okay. I don't think I have an area attack. No, I don't. Alright, just, just pew pew. Pew pew away! Eat. Goldfish. Swimming in the Two Rastro. Sorry, I got goldfish in my mouth. Oh. Hey, no worries about me, man. I missed you too. And I hopefully work treats you well today. Why is there this delay? alone from 12 to 8.30. Oh, I'm sorry, Astro. I try and keep you company. All the loves. Don't be sad. Pizza sounds fun. Dude, right? I'm just like, that way I can keep playing. But I'm like, if I go and make food, that means I have to leave. And I'm like, I don't want to leave. I want to, I want to keep playing. Getting so good. I could just sit here and I should be like, yum, 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 as I play. So I aggressively wipe my hands on my, my napkins down here. <gasps> no snakes. Oh, punch you. Punch, 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 punch. 29, 29. I just want to lay with Cass. Dude, I agree. She is so cuddly. Yeah, for not being here for the whole weekend and coming like back home, she was like this. Like, I woke up to her paws in the back of my head. I was like, what the hell? And I just felt her like flex and then like go back to sleep. I'm just like, what the fuck? We love it up. Nice. nice. She is like, not like the ultimate cuddle bug. Like she'll put up with it. But she'll also like have no problem taking her paws, putting them in your face, and just being like, "You need to back up." And you're like, mm. "I accept your love, cats." It sounds like she's probably in the living room, so she's probably outside playing or drinking some water. Whoops, snow snakes! What's it? Rip cake. that be a trippy stream just to just like nap all day with cats like what are you watching it's like i'm just watching two people nap i'm just chilling just napping okay, poison me 
begin. This. Uh... eventually for free. Oh my god, she is. I thought she like was like been gone this whole time. Cass, I am so sorry. I thought you were gone still. I didn't even hear you come in. When did she come in? When did she come in? I thought she was still out there doing who knows what. Foulest creature I've ever known. It is a rabbit. It is not just a rabbit. Oh dear God. Grumpy bunny. Okay. Grumpy bunny. <laughs> I am the wizard known as Tim. 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 <laughs> just, just wrapped again. Wizard, take care of it. <laughs> oh, it's got oh, No one listens to the wizard. Oh, it's just a rabbit. <laughs> I just love the frick rabbit, just like that. <laughs> So great. It's such a classic. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen sparrow? Well, that depends. Is it an American swallow or an African swallow? Well, I don't know. Ah! Ah, it's so quotable. Alright, rabbits. Have been defeated. Oh. Is it maybe not a rabbit? <laughs> is it a were rabbit? Love the red. No blue. <laughs> what is your favorite color? Red. No blue. <gasps> oh my god! This is this is this a tribute to Monty Python? <gasps> no, it's not. Hello, little thing. Little snow yeti. It's just, it's just a snowball. Oh. Am I about to murder a Yeti child? Oh, never 
fine. Not a child. Not a child! Yeah. Ooh, 600, that's a lot. Alright, what this tech do I have attached right now? Let's do that on you, good sir. I'm gonna fatigue my screen myself. Ooh, 700. Doesn't do much. But maybe it slows you down? I feel like I should. I feel like I should. But I don't know if moving's just like a waste of a turn. Yeah, well, let's move. Let's see what happens. Maybe I can shoot him over the mountain. He's mad at me. Okay, can I shoot him over the mound? I can't. He's out of range. Throw a black sack at him. Yeah. Thousand. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Alright, well, I'm gonna heal myself real quick. She's dropping 600 like nobody's business. Oh my god, this might be the first time I died. Ooh, second. I did die that other time. I need a plus piece. He does 600. That only heals me for 500. Yeah. I can't keep wasting my turns on these healing things. Alright, we'll do... We'll do a complete, because we have it, might as well. I have to go back at the place. Yeah, myself. Maybe I can move over there. Continue to stay there. Which would be good to know for you next time. Yeah. Okay, so I have a chance to move. This. Nope, there comes the snowball. But it does way less damage than a punch. Okay, I'm gonna pew pew you. Slow spike does nothing. Take a snowball on your fist. Can I? Go. Okay, okay, okay. I see 
notice. Uh, how about you just have blast that thing? Get out of here. Nonsense. One more hit. And we leveled up! Got a freeze cubist and a wimp pump. <laughs> Why did you fall from the sky? <gasps> GG! Thank you, Larry Dan! Is this the face eating kid? Is this the face eating kid? That kid was like, I'm so hungry, I'm gonna eat my face. Goodwork Boots now report to Bogomaster about the boys' safe return. Lovely. Oh, it's just part of the tree. Good stuff, everybody. Totally almost didn't die. No. Bogomaster. Hello, sir. You tell me the fair child was not a child at all, but a shape shifting ice beast. I'm supposed to believe that? Really, Mr. Boots? There's no need to lie about any such things. If you didn't find him, just. Did you hear that? Sounds like there's a shuttle landing outside. Have the ring dwellers matured? I think it's, uh, for me. Is it the council members? Their rescue pod? Scientist to the rescue. I love you. Aww. We gotta go pick up our, our fist guy. Excellent to see you safe and sound, sir. Yes, quite a relief. We are sorry about expanding the planet like that. No, we're not. It was the only means of escape. Gas alert. Out of my way, fellas. Hey, you doing okay over here? You know me, Miss Moody. So, what next? I'm gonna take a Trotsky. And after that? We stock up on supplies, get a decent night's sleep, and rendezvous with the rest of the party at Sender Station tomorrow morning. Splendid. Shall I reserve a room for Mr. Estrella? Who? El Puño, your superhero friend. We briefed him on our quest, and he has graciously offered to join us. <gasps> oh. Hi. You still thinking about her? I've enough to worry about. Well, let me know if you need me to rough her up for you. Thanks. Oh. Friendship. Uh, hey, uh, sorry about all that stuff I said back on the villain ship, Mr. Estrella. I was nervous. Call me Paco. No, you cannot have a costume, too. What do you mean? You, you, you will let us know when you're leaving, won't you? Back here. Rest of the Republic in before rendezvousing with the rest of the party at the Lodge of Comrades on the Sender Station. Okay. Okay. I love it. I've watched every minute of footage available. I thought you'd be taller. Yeah, it was me. Just say me say. Ambassador Boots in the flesh, you must be here for the festival of choice. Oh, is that happening? Oh no. Oh my. Actually, it is 1.30. This would be an opportune time to take a lunch break. And then come back for some DVD tonight, because as I recall, somebody...
but it got me the the K-pop killer guy package thing. Intent Astro intent hint, 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 hint. Where is the end? I kinda of forgot. Oh jeez. If you take a stiletto with you, she'd walk in and say he gives mean back rubs at that point. Oh definitely believe it. We got big old hands. Slapped a clutch stick with one bit. Thank you for the slappage of the sticker. Is this the hotel? Is that the hotel? Let's try sleep again. I almost forgot. Over here. Thinking. I feel like this is a good, good stopping point. We've got at least three hours in. Whoa, what? You heard me, Astra? You heard me? No, could it be me? Oh, no. It must have been another Ahoy Astro who so graciously was like, I must demand to buy you a <laughs> DVD DLC. Yeah, we've already saved. So with that, we're going to find somebody to raid so I can have a little lunchy lunch break and totally like not snuggle with Cass in the background. Who is on that we can raid? Oh, there is like no one on right now. That's cool. <gasps> Cass kiss. Oh, hold on, hold on. We gotta pop back up. We gotta pop back up for Cass kiss. Alright. Chess kiss. But yeah, there's no one on to raid, so I'ma just do this. And thank you everyone for stopping by. I'ma go have some lunch, maybe pet the dog, and I'll be back later tonight with some DVD in like an hour or two. Zoo Bye bye.